What is up everyone, it's DMG here, so today we're about to try a really ambitious game mode created in the workshop that aims to help you practice Genji in the most basic way possible, simply by placing random bots on a map and then eliminating them. All of this has been made by somebody called Bruno. So not only does this game mode allow you to be flexible with your playstyle, it also has some mini games attached to it, such as a Widowmaker Deflect mode and a Sleep Deflect mode, which the latter I don't really know how to start, so I probably won't cover that unfortunately. Anyway, this mode is currently a beta version, so not everything here will be perfect. I'm assuming there will be a much better version of the game mode in the future, so we'll just have to wait and see what happens there. So here you can see all of what the mode is or will be able to offer in this game mode. There's some customizable bot spawning and bot strafing, the Deflect Widow minigame trainer that we just spoke about, you got some fully customizable settings that covers insta kills, nano blade, dash reset training, and well, we also have transcendence blade down here, which I don't quite understand. I'm not sure how that would work. Uh, and of course, the sleep deflect mode. I, this, I believe, is the same as the Widow game mode, right? Except that you're just trying to deflect Anna's dart. Okay. So anyway, this is the game mode. The workshop code is right up there in the top left-hand corner of the screen. So this is where you first spawn in when you start the game mode. So you've got Nanoblade, you've got Instakill, Transcendence, and over in the corner you have Infinite Ammo, uh, you have Bot Move, I, I can't remember what that means. Uh, there's the Widow Deflect mini game. Uh, all you've got to do if you want to go and trigger it, is you go into this and you've got to crouch down and, and, uh, and trigger the game mode. Bot Strafing. Uh, I'm not sure where the Sleep Deflect... I think this is the Sleep Deflect mode right here. Uh, I haven't even tried that out yet. Uh, but anyway, so the way this game mode works is, if you can see in the top right hand corner there's some instructions. I'm playing on PlayStation, obviously I'm not playing on PC, uh, but if you are on PC this would be so much easier for you. But anyway, if you want to place down a bot to train yourself, uh, the way I do it on the controller is you hit down L3. Now what this will do is this will go into sort of like this weird camera mode and you can move around uh, with this little spear down here. And you can place any kind of bot on the map anywhere you want, and then it will just place it down there. So I'll just place somebody on the point right here. Uh, I press R2, uh, and it tells me to drop a random hero. So there's Soldier 76 right there. And as you can see, as I'm moving the camera, uh, you can actually place them anywhere you want. So I'll drop Soldier 76 right here. And then you've got some options. You can pick them up, you can change the hero, or you can remove them. Uh, so yeah, so right now you've got a, a, a Soldier 76 place right here. So what I'll do is I'll place some somebody else over here. So let's say I drop somebody over here. Uh, there's an Ash. Okay, so I'll, I'll just drop Ash right down here. Uh, for some reason they just strafe automatically as soon as I place them down. There's actually an op and there's actually an option uh, to turn on bot strafe. So even if I even if there's actually a bot strafe option, whenever I place them down, they just strafe anyway. Um, okay, so I'll just place another bot down here just as, as an example. Right, so Baptiste. So I drop him down and then he starts to strafe as well. Now if I want to pick them up, all i got to do is press the L2 button. And there you go, I've just picked him up and then I can put him somewhere else. So I'll just place him right here. Well, that seems to be fine, that's pretty cool. I don't know what uh, Soldier 76 is doing down here. Let me just go ahead and uh, uh, put him there. I don't know what he's <laughs> What is he doing here? He's not even strafing. He's just doing a dance, I guess. <laughs> All right. So let's. So if you want to come out of edit mode, you just uh, hit the L3 button if you're on controller. Uh, now, it's pretty simple. You just walk up to them as, as they're sort of moving about. You just... There you go. Pretty simple right there. Uh, boogieing Soldier 76 right there. You just literally just kill him. There you go. Simple as that. Same thing as Baptiste. It's pretty much is it's as basic as anything can get, really. Right. Let me have a look at. Let me just show you some of the options that you can do in this mode. So there's Nano Blade. There's Transcendence. There's Insta Kill, and there's Infinite Ammo over here. Now, usually in some of these training uh, game modes that I've done, usually I use the R3 button to trigger them. Um, but for this game mode, you, the thing you have to do is you have to walk inside the circle and then hit RL or right click. 
Insta kill is now enabled. So every time I kill the characters now, they should die in one hit. Why is there a Zenyatta up here? Did I do something? <laughs> Why is there a Zen What? Why are there two Zenyattas up here? Okay, anyway, just ignore those. Um, so yeah, if you if you was to... Yeah, they just literally just insta kill them right there. Alright. Now, let's say that you want to... Um, let's say that you want to have infinite ammo. So right there, if you can see at the bottom right-hand corner, you've only got 30... 30 shurikens there. Now, if you walk into the circle, you've now got infinite ammo. Okay? Right. Let's say I want to reset everything. Now, the way to do it, and this is a bit weird, if you're on a controller at least anyway, you have to hit R3 and reload at the same time. So, watch, watch the um, infinite ammo down at the bottom right-hand corner. It goes from 1,000... It's now down, but it's now back down to thirty. So now you you know that you've reset everything. So every time you uh, shoot something now, they won't die instantly. There you go. All right. So let me just go ahead and first of all, I need to go into edit mode to remove all these Zenyatta bots. Let me just go ahead and remove those. <laughs> kind of weird that they were up there before. But anyway, uh, okay. So there's nano blade. There's trans. I don't know what this transcendence means. I'm not sure about that. Uh, nano blade. Hang on. Nano blade. I believe nano blade. I think you've got to do it in a certain way. Right. Nano is now active. So let me go ahead and just charge my ultimate. Right. So I've now charged up my ultimate. Okay. So now, by the way, the reason why these uh, bots have stopped moving and they've stopped strafing is I believe it's probably because I've resetted it before. Um, yeah. For some reason, the bot strafing is pretty much is on by default when you place these characters down. So I'm assuming because we literally reset the custom settings, that's why they're just standing there and not strafing. Um, okay, so anyway, as you can probably tell, we've already got the... I'm assuming we've got the nano blade on, right? I hope this is going to work. Right. Right, so now we've got nano. We've got nano. I think, wait, no, we haven't got nano. What's going on? <laughs> we just turned nano on. So this is the reason why this game mode is a beta version. So obviously we have to pick out a few uh, bugs in this game mode. So as you, as you can see, if I go here... Yeah, the, the nano blade doesn't work. I don't know why that doesn't work for some reason. Yep, this is the reason why it's a beta version. <laughs> right, just to show you, by the way, guys, about the bot strafe thing I was talking about earlier. If you right-click into it, bot strafe is now enabled. So if I walk up, they should be strafing. There you go. They're now strafing. What is what is Soldier 76 doing over there? Do we just try and move? Can we, can we move him somewhere else? Um, let's just pick him up and move him somewhere else. Uh, drop him there. Okay, I don't know what's I don't know what's up with Soldier 76 here. I think he's just. Wait, hold on. <laughs> what is going on with the soldier here? Oh, there we go. Now, now he's now he's strafing properly. Okay. <laughs> what? All right. Let's go ahead and speak of this Widow Deflect mini game. Now, this is actually strange. Basically, if you start the game mode, I mean, let me just show you. So you crouch. You have to crouch to start the game mode. Start three, two, one. All right. If I deflect now, it's on cooldown. So now, well, obviously I die now. So, I think that's the main problem with this deflect minigame, is that the fact is that when I start it, my my deflect is on cooldown, so I can't really use it. Let me try this again. I think you can change this in the settings to make it so that the deflect does not have a cooldown. So, when you play the game mode, you shouldn't be able to die. I think that's probably the best way to fix that, I think, is just to put the deflect with no cooldown at all, rather than just have it have a cooldown. Because you're you're not going to be able to deflect the next shot when it comes. So if if there's any suggestion to make the best out of this deflect minigame game mode, go into the settings and then just set the the deflect from eight seconds to no seconds at all. So you can use it all the time and then you can deflect all the shots, I think. So this sleep deflect mode, I don't think it works, does it? 
No, it doesn't. Ref it doesn't work. I don't think. Okay. All oh, right. Hold. On. Okay. Here we go. There's a deflect game mode here. How does How does this work? I've. I <laughs> oh wait. Is there a count? I think there's a countdown, isn't there? Let me have a look. No, there's no countdown. Oh goodness me. Yeah, you, you kind of like need to use. You gotta. <laughs> Okay. So the Anna just keeps spawning in. I would prefer I would prefer it if we could actually see the honor. Oh, there you go. So I've, I'm deflecting it now. It is very very finicky with the with the flexibility. I think. Oh, there you go. I just got slept. But there you go. That's how that uh, sleep deflect works. So, I mean, all in all, I think it's quite. It's very useful. I think you can just play... All you got to do is literally... If you want to just place things on the map. And then just try and just practice with them. And just place them down. And you want and you, and you want something to use for like a, a warm-up session or something. You could definitely use this. No problem. There are some there are some bugs in this game. No doubt about it. I think there's some serious issues with it. Like... Um, oh yeah, there's also this thing here as well. Span random, random bots in the air. I think that's the reason why those Zenyatas were up in the air previously because that was that was triggered let me just go ahead and try that actually so if i was to spawn like spawn random bots in the air this should yeah see there you go you got a junk rat up there and then i think i think i placed that ash there <laughs> so yeah what what we'll do what that will happen is if you place let me just keep throwing this in there now there so you can see these uh, these characters are now being spawned randomly in the air Yeah, this is the reason why this game is in a beta version. I, I think this is this is not a perfect game mode, because there are a few things that need to be worked on, um, like maybe. I mean, maybe just try and use make these a bit more selectable. Like rather than just walking into the the circle and just using right click, couldn't we just like have an option like just hit the R three button, and then you can use selections or whatever. Yeah. It's it's a perfect game mode to try and warm up stuff like that. This this Widow Deflect mini game is actually really fun. Just needs a little bit of touching up. But apart from that, I think this is fun. This has definitely got a little bit of promise to it. But like I said, it, it it's not perfect. It's there are a few blemishes, but um it is quite fun. It, it's got a quite a lot of promise. Um so yeah, let me know what you think of this game mode in the comment section down below. Like I said, I know this video isn't perfect. Because it's been a while since we did like a video where we looked at a sort of like a trainer kind of game mode rather than a PvE game mode. Because I kind of like getting a little bit tired of those PvE game modes. I wanted to try out something new. We haven't done like a trainer game mode video for a while. So that's exactly what I wanted to try and do today. So yes, thank you very much for watching the video guys. If you like this idea for content and you want to see more in the future, go ahead and click on the subscribe button. Send a comment, like the video and then turn on your notifications. It really does help me out a great deal. You can also check me out on all of my other social medias, my Twitter account, my Discord, and of course, my TikTok. And let's not forget as well, my Instagram and my threads. Thank you for stopping by, chaps. Have a great day. Have a great life. Be nice to your fellow gamers because we're all human beings. I've been CMG as always. Until the next video, I shall see you later. Peace!